In the following video, I am about to refer to the Samsung Captivate as a Samsung Vibrant. The title says Captivate. It is the Samsung Captivate that I am performing this on. Whenever I say Vibrant, I mean Captivate. This was a mistake on my part during the post recording and I am too lazy to re-record the audio as it is post audio but nonetheless, whenever I say Vibrant, I mean Captivate, alright? So please continue watching the video. I do not know if this works on the Vibrant. What is up YouTube, this is David here. Today I will be showing you how to unlock the Samsung Vibrant for AT&T. This may work on the T-Mobile model or whatever model as well, but I'm not sure. What I mean by unlocking is if you had a pattern or something or a code and you entered it into wrong too many times, you get the too many pattern attempts error and it wants you to enter in your Gmail. So if the phone wasn't yours originally or you don't remember your Gmail for some stupid reason, then this is how to get around that. Please note that this will delete all your user data such as contacts stored on the SIM card or um, settings made to the phone and it will basically restore your phone back to default alright so with that out of the way let's get started as you can see right here I have the phone it ha it's not actually locked up but the person does not remember the pattern which will inevitably make them lock up their phone so I have the phone here as you see it is a the vibrant Galaxy S vibrant for AT&T you want to start off by popping the back off removing the lid and then continue by removing the battery Replace the battery, okay. And the next step is you're going to want to hold the two power or the two volume buttons. You're going to want to press those two at the same time, and the power button when you boot it back up. Now you're going to wait for the first white screen to pop up, and then as soon as it disappears, let them go. See, so there it pops up, and I let them go right away as soon as it came up. And here you see the Android system recovery. You're going to want to select the option you um that says delete all user data right there as you see. You're going to navigate using the volume button up and down and press power button to select your options. So go ahead and press the power button on the delete all user data right there. Then go down to where it says yes, delete all user data and press the power button again. This should be very quick, take a couple of seconds. And then you want to go to where it says reboot phone or something along those lines. Your phone should then reboot. And do not be worried, this will take quite a little bit to reboot since um you know, it is like booting it new first time. So don't worry if it takes a while to reboot, just let it sit there. It shouldn't take more than like 4 minutes or something like that you know so if it takes a little bit don't worry about it I know I said this like a bunch of times but I just want to emphasize that so you guys don't freak out when you're actually attempting this so here um, the phone actually stood here for a little bit so I'm going to cut ahead in the video and when it's booted back up okay so as you see here the um, phone has booted up I currently have no sim card in there so I'm going to go ahead and skip that you would however if you're using the phone as your main phone or whatever you want to go ahead and configure it or do whatever register your gmail and whatnot and this actually takes quite a while right here um it stays like this for a while so i am again going to cut ahead or um i'm sorry not cut ahead but i'm going to leave it off right here because i did not record the actual screen but trust me, it does work. It, is, it will take a while for it to finally boot up, but believe me, just leave it sitting there and come back to it later or just watch it if you really have nothing better to do. And it will work. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I hope this fixed your phone.